We light this chalice tonight during the last day of Kwanzaa to honor black family, culture, and community. Habarigani, what's happening? Imani, faith. Habarigani. This is the last day of Kwanzaa, and Imani, which means faith, is the last principle. Faith is a funny idea. I grew up black, female, in what has come to be described as a ghetto. I am told that I am the granddaughter of a sharecropper. Growing up in the inner city was different than is often written about. Although poor, we seemed to have known who we were. There were neighborhoods and families and a strong idea of community. I used to joke that on my street, you couldn't get away with anything. Every report card, every activity, everything you did was scrutinized by every mother on the street. And my mother seemed to have known anything and everything I did, even though she was at work and not there. My memory is that there was an abundance of family, neighborhood, community, and they were inextricably tied to each other. Families looked for excuses to get together. Every single holiday that existed on the US calendar was a reason for my family to come together and celebrate. From New Year's Eve through Christmas, we found time to be together, to laugh together, and to enjoy each other. Every one of these gatherings began with a prayer of thanksgiving and an expression of things hoped for. My family was filled with hope, and I don't know why, but there was always a sense that we could achieve and do better than the previous generation. I came to realize, I came to name that as their faith. Faith in things hoped for and the assurance that if you worked hard and believed in God, believed in yourself and your family and community, you will achieve. The faith that I was taught was a faith that must be accompanied by works. Faith without works is dead. The message was that if my obligation to believe in I could succeed, to believe in myself, to work hard, and when that success was achieved, give back to the community. We Shall Overcome wasn't simply an anthem. It was a deep sense of belief, fueled by faith, that God would not have brought them thus far just to leave them. Over this past year, my faith has been tested time and time again and it has taken care of me. This has been a particularly cruel and hard year. I have been knocked to my knees, but it is my faith that has allowed me to get up and persevere. This is not my mother's faith. No time and events have changed things, but it is still a faith in me, in my family, and in my community. And out of this, born of experiences. As Unitarian Universalists, our faith is non creed Faith is less about a higher power and more about being in right relationship with each other. We rely on our principles to guide us, inherent worth and dignity of people, justice, equity, compassion, acceptance of others, peace and liberty. You know them. I've been going back to read Bell Hooks since her transition, and I've come to be struck by her thoughts about love. As I understand it, love is an action. If you love something, you do something. To sit back and admirably say, I love is inadequate. Faith without works is dead. Love without action is not love. On this last day of Kwanzaa, I invite you to join me in a faith-filled community 
that is full of love, a faith that is connected to work, a, a faith that demands us to give back intentionally in whatever form we can. Sweet honey in the rock say, sing, you, you who believe in freedom cannot rest. Our faith requires us to love justice. It will take a community to achieve. This is not our time to rest. Mm -hmm.